In this video, we're going to learn about special products such as perfect square trinomials and the difference of squares. We've looked at quadratics where two binomials multiply with each other. For example, y equals x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 2. Now, there are some situations where we would see similarities within the expressions. For example, there are situations where the two binomials that are being multiplied together in our quadratic equation are identical. In this situation, the binomials were not the same, but in a situation where, let's say, the equation is x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2, we'd get y equals x squared plus 4x plus 4. Also, if we had x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 3, then we would get y equals x squared minus 6x plus 9. These are known as perfect square trinomials, where the form can be written as either a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, or a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. In our first example, we can say that it's following the general form of y equals a plus b squared. What we end up with when we use FOIL to simplify this is this. Now, if the example wasn't in this format, but was rather in this format, then after using FOIL, we would end up with this equation. So all we have to remember is that when the same binomial is being multiplied by itself in our quadratic equation, the equation we will end up with will be either in this form or this form, depending on if the binomial which is being squared is in an a plus b squared format or a minus b squared format. So that was us taking a look at binomials that are identical. But now let's look at binomials that look identical, only that one is being added and the other is being subtracted in this format. Now, when the binomials are the same with just a plus minus difference, we call these two conjugates of each other. So let's try some examples of conjugates and see what they simplify to. If I said that one of the binomials of a quadratic equation is x plus 4, and that this is a conjugate, would you be able to find the mm -hmm. other conjugate? Well, of course, it would be x minus 4. It's as easy as that. Now, what's interesting about multiplying conjugates is that when you simplify them, you will end up with a squared minus b squared every single time. Let's perform the steps in between to see how we ended up here. Well, if we use the FOIL method to multiply binomials, we end up with the following. And of course, this simplifies down to a squared minus b squared, since the two middle terms cancel each other out. Now, this right here is what we call the difference of squares. Great. So, for example, if we were asked to simplify y equals x minus 8 multiplied by x plus 8, we would automatically know that it simplifies down to x squared minus 64 without actually having to do the steps in between. Why? Because if you remember, the two middle terms always cancel each other out when simplifying conjugates. Reversely, if we were given x squared minus 49, or a difference of squares like we mentioned earlier, we would perform what is called factoring the difference of squares, which is to find the two conjugates of this. So since these two terms are perfect squares that are being subtracted with each other, we can use what we just learned and find the conjugates of them. We now know that we can factor this out, which results in x plus 7 multiplied by x minus 7. If we compare our answer to the general formula we covered earlier, we see that it is the exact same and that this is in fact correct. 
So what we can take away from this video is that when there is a multiplication of two binomials that are the exact same, we can categorize them into these two particular cases. We also covered that the conjugates of an equation can be simplified to its difference of squares and vice versa. Awesome, so that's it for this lesson guys and we hope to see you in the next one.